welcome one and all back to the show. So good to have you here. Today, I'm gonna give you something a little, a little special today. So, for those of you that are on YouTube a lot, which is probably a decent amount of you, you may know that every photo person, every video person does a what is in my camera bag blank year, whatever year it may be. And let's be honest, a lot of them are similar. Now, I'm obviously not going to tell you what's in my photo bag because you don't care. You're here to think about coffee and talk about coffee. So, today is the day. Welcome to this episode. We are going to talk about what is my go-to brewing method in 2021. I'm excited, y'all. I'm excited. It is so wonderful to be back with each and every one of you. Oh, January has just been a hectic month between having to leave the apartment because everyone getting COVID, staying in a hotel, just working a lot, been very stressful. But we're back on the video train. So happy to be here. Um, real quick, comment down below if you like the videos coming out on Mondays or Fridays because at this point, I'm just kind of experimenting, seeing what everyone likes. And I'm, I'm honestly open to either, it doesn't matter to me, but if you have a personal preference, you know, slide into my DMs, slide into my comments, and uh, let me know what you think. And when you're down there, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and uh, maybe drop me a like. It's up to you, but you know, late Christmas gift, early birthday gift, it could be one of those. So as I already said, today, today, we are gonna talk about what is my daily driver for coffee, because I don't have a bag for coffee, so I guess it's What's in my coffee cabinet 2021 is what we're gonna call this video because I just have a little cabinet of my coffee stuff that I normally use and then I have like two bins of all the coffee stuff I don't regularly use. So in 2021, what is my go-to for coffee? And we're gonna quick split this into two main segments. First, we're gonna talk about what I use when I'm at home, um, all those things, my classic at-home brewing method. And we're also gonna talk about what I use when I'm traveling since in 2021, hopefully I'll be able to do a lot more traveling and not just driving into the desert by myself. If you didn't see that video, check it out. It's a good one, honestly, it's fun. Uh, but to start it off with the coffee I'm using, obviously, you already know, it's gonna be your boy's own brand. Um, one, because I, I like repping my own brand, obviously, but I also think it's delicious, and I really, truly enjoy this Ethiopian, and I think it's very tasty. Um, and I honestly drink this most mornings. Basically, if someone orders an Ethiopian, my Forever Glaze, I will roast a little extra so that I can kind of just keep a small container, small bag for myself, and uh, that's what I drink most mornings. Sometimes I switch it up, you know, maybe I'll get something from work or whatever, but if I'm brewing coffee at home, this is my go-to option. Now, if I'm not at home, get out of here. If I'm not at home, then my go-to option, if I'm not like taking my AeroPress or something, is these instant coffee packets that I found at REI. And I know I've already talked about these and I actually have a plan in about a week or so to do a little instant coffee throwdown uh, between four different brands that I've found and kind of see which one comes out um, in the end is the best coffee because I don't know about you guys But like if I'm on the road sometimes I I don't want to take my entire coffee setup Especially if I'm just gonna be gone for like, you know one night or something but I, I want some good coffee to drink and This Alpine start instant coffee original blend medium roast is honestly pretty good um, And it does the job it tastes overall good. It's not very honestly it's a it's very well balanced and when you drink it like at the end you look in the cup and there's no sludge left because it actually all mixes together it's incredible but we'll get into more details about this specific coffee when I do my whole little throwdown but yeah basically if I'm at home or doing a longer trip I'll be using my own beans or uh, you know whole beans of some type if I'm doing a quick trip or you know just need something to take with me I will throw one of these in my bag because they're so small I can literally just chuck it in like my camera bag or something and I have coffee and I'm good to go. Now, for what I use daily at home. Now, this has actually changed quite a bit from 2020. In 2020, my go-to method was the Chemex and I could go get it, but I haven't used it in so long that it's buried in a box somewhere. 
I'm sorry to my Chemex. It was my first love in coffee, but I found a new love and I've had to say goodbye to the Chemex for now because when I'm brewing coffee just for myself or for maybe like me and a couple other people and I don't mind making a couple batches, the Hario V60 is just delightful to use. It is fun, it makes a delicious cup of coffee, it doesn't take too long, um, and just the, the flavorful coffee that I've gotten out of this is quite delicious. Now, this exact one might not be the one uh, I will be using in the future because I would like to find one that's plastic so that I could possibly travel with it a little easier because as much as I love the glass one, one, it's breakable, and two, it just, it doesn't do as well with heat, obviously, because it's glass, um, but mostly because it's breakable. It makes me a little nervous to take it anywhere else or just even like drop it on the counter or something. Um, but yeah, this is my go-to method. I really enjoy it. I get some really nice, tasty coffees out of it. And it's nothing against the Chemex. The, the Chemex served me well. Thank you, Chemex. Uh, you will be, you know, I'll always use the Chemex if I have a big group over or something. But when it comes to making a single serving coffee, I, I, just, I just love the V60, honestly. I love just, the variances in it, and it's it's overall a very tasty coffee. Now, you already know that uh, with this, I use a Osseo Pearl scale, white, it's beautiful. You've seen it in a lot of other videos. I don't need to remind you. Um, if you've forgotten what it looks like, the link will be down below so you can go look at it. But, oh, guys, this beautiful piece of equipment entered my life in 2020, and let me tell you, it was a game changer. Before I had this, I was using a gooseneck kettle, but it was a, just like a metal gooseneck kettle, and then I would heat up water in something else, and then pour it in the gooseneck kettle, and then use it to pour. And let me tell you, I did not realize until I started using this how much heat I was losing from pouring the hot water into that metal gooseneck kettle, just because you just do. You will always lose heat. With this, I have full temperature control. It can hold the temperature of the water. I just, there's so much more that I can do with it you know, the lovely goose neck, and it is boiled in this pot, so it is the hottest I can possibly have it. And since I'm using a lot of light roast coffees, it comes to be very nice and very good. But this fellow Stag EKG kettle, I would literally not trade for anything. Whenever this breaks someday, because it probably will, because I use it every day, I will buy another one automatically. I will put an order in on the website and I will replace it immediately. This is how much I love this kettle and I would recommend it to literally anyone. If it's not in your budget, I understand that. There's some other decent kettle options, but nothing heats up quite as fast or consistently as this kettle does. Now, the last thing I use daily, and I'm realizing that most of what I use daily has actually changed um, in the last couple months because I now have this grinder, which I did a whole review on. You can uh, check that out. Uh, link in the description or up above. Um, but the fellow Ode grinder has become my daily, you know, use for making coffee. And I did love my hand grinder. We'll talk about that in a second. It, it, it did the job well, but the amount of time that I have now that I use this is ridiculous. Normally I would start, you know, my kettle boiling. I would weigh out the beans. I would get them grinding. And a lot of times I would finish grinding about when this water was heated up, or just like a little bit before, but I wouldn't really have a lot of time to kill. Now <laughs> with this grinder, I grind the coffee and the water is heated up like five degrees. Like, I just kinda like chill, I like get everything ready to go, but like I got all this extra time, you know, maybe watch a TikTok or two, just hang out, join a Clubhouse room. If you're not following me on Clubhouse and you're not on Clubhouse, get on it, it's incredible. If you would like an invite, DM me and I'll get you an invite. Um, but yeah, like this has changed my coffee game. One, because the consistency is just so much better. I love it. It is just a delightful piece of equipment to use. Um, and yeah, it's just honestly freed up my time and uh, my arm muscles so they aren't quite as tired, which is a big, 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 big blessing. Love it. So yeah, basically kind of see all together. This is kind of my go-to coffee setup for at home. The only thing I didn't include is my water filtration device, which uh, filters the water and then adds in certain minerals that are good for brewing coffee. Um, and I, I just didn't want to add too much to this table. But yeah, this is my go-to coffee setup at home. But now we're going to clear all this out of the way because we're going to talk about my go-to coffee setup when traveling, especially if I'm like camping or backpacking. Here it is, y'all. This is 
my 2021 coffee travel setup. Um, it's very small, it is very compact, and in theory, I could use it without even having this grinder and pre-grind some coffee if I'm only gonna be gone for like a day or two and put them right in here and have everything I need. Um, before this, I didn't have a, a coffee setup. Um, I bought this AeroPress in like November of 2019 and I didn't have a good way to make coffee while I was traveling and let me tell you, that was a mistake because the amount of times I was at a friend's house, I was you know, at a relative's house at somewhere and I didn't have a way to make good coffee, it was, it was too many times and it made me realize that I needed a way to make my own coffee if the situation called for because what if I'm staying with someone that doesn't drink coffee? Then what, I need to go get a coffee from like a Starbucks? No thank you, I don't wanna go outside and be active and productive before I've had a coffee. I know I sound like <laughs> ridiculous, but it's just the truth. Like I, I need my morning coffee to get going in the day. I'm, I am one of those people. Don't talk to me before I've had my morning coffee. So this changes it and it helps make me a much lovelier person when I'm traveling, which is good. It's a good thing, but it is the AeroPress Go as many of you have seen before. Lovely de device. Um, would again highly recommend this to anyone. Um, fantastic device to use at home. Doesn't quite make as much coffee as other devices, um, but when you pair that with the grinder, it just gives you an overall very satisfying and delicious cup of coffee, whether you know you need to make one while you're backpacking, while you're camping, while you're freaking in the airport, um, stopped over at a rest stop, whatever you need to do. Um, quick story, for those of you that don't know how much I love coffee, last, fall when I was driving back from Michigan to California. I was in Denver for a couple days. Well, outside of Denver in Estes Park. And I had a long drive coming up in front of me. And you know, most people, they would stop at a Starbucks, maybe run to a McDonald's or like a Dunkin' or something, grab themselves a cup of coffee. No, no, no. Josh decided that he would boil water on his stove that he had brought. He would set up his entire Chemex setup and brew coffee on a picnic table. Now let me tell you, the coffee for the rest of that drive was delicious and it tasted good, but I, I appreciate putting in that extra step when you're doing coffee. So if you are someone that doesn't really care about putting in that extra step, you might not even have a, ca a coffee travel set up. Maybe you just have some good high quality instant coffee with you and you'll count on Starbucks or something similar for everything else. But if you're like me and you really, really enjoy good coffee, then something like this will, will do you wonders in 2021 as we are slowly, slowly allowed to travel again. But that is my coffee travel setup for 2021. So yeah guys, that basically wraps it up. This is my 2021 daily driver for coffee. What's in my coffee cabinet? And let me tell you, I'm very happy with everything I have in this setup, and I don't see it changing very often. Um, this will always be my go-to, even if I'm testing something else out, um, trying some new methods to review for you guys, this will always be my go-to. But yeah, guys, I'm just really excited to brew a lot of coffee with all of you this year, just talk about coffee, do some reviews, have some fun, hopefully do some traveling, maybe even internationally if we're lucky enough. Knock on wood. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to drop a subscribe, a like, if you really enjoy this video. Stay tuned because I upload content every single week, either on Monday or Friday. We'll figure out a day at some point. Um, but every week I upload content, coffee reviews, talking about coffee, all those good things. Follow me on Instagram. And until next time, have a deliciously caffeinated beverage or uh, decaf if it's late at night. Please don't ruin your sleep schedule. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. This looks good, honestly. This looks... That was flat. Whoa!